Welcome back. It is 913. Now that face masks have become a way of life, scientists are exploring ways to make them useful for our health. You've heard of a Fitbit. How about a face bit? A Fitbit for the face that can monitor your health by sensing heartbeat and respiratory rates. And joining us to discuss is Josiah Hester. He is from Northwestern's McCormick School of Engineering. Good morning to you. Nice to see you and thanks for joining us. Morning. Okay, what a great way to figure out what to do now with our lifestyle, which is wearing masks every day. So tell us the idea behind this and how it came about. Yeah, I mean, this originally was kind of conceived uh, early, early in the pandemic when we were actually trying to help uh, clinical frontline uh, healthcare workers to understand kind of what their um, physical signals, what things were happening with them throughout the day, help them understand their mask fit. Uh, and if they had a leak in their mask. As this went on, you know, this pandemic kind of never ended. Uh, it became more clear that we were going to be in a place where masks were just going to maybe always be with us. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of began transitioning to like, well, if I'm already wearing this device on my face, this thing on my face that's protecting me, why do I need a Fitbit anymore? Can I just use this same mask to get those interesting signals, those interesting markers of my activity to help me understand you know, my health and my well-being and maybe make better decisions about my health and well-being. Okay, so let's talk about how exactly this works. Put it all together for me. Yeah, so you have, uh, you know, any type of mask you want, um, N95 uh, cloth, uh, surgical, and you have a little quarter-sized device uh, that fits into the inside of the mask with a magnet. And then the mask can actually detect your heart rate based on these ballistic forces that come from your heart as you're pushing blood throughout your body. So it kind of actually makes you tick uh, just a little tiny bit like this rotating, uh -huh. and we can pick up that signal. A respiration rate, you know, you're breathing um, onto this sensor, and so we can pick that up. And then with mask fit to add, uh, help us understand if you can actually, uh, if you have a good seal, we're just measuring kind of the, your resistance to breathing. If there's not a lot of resistance, maybe there's a hole. If uh, there's good resistance, you probably have a good fit. Okay, so in this case, it's about, um, you know, uh, the mask and whether or not it's working for you. But tell me, what are the implications of this right now? Who would this benefit and what would you like to see happen with this in the future? Because I'm sure you have plans for that. Yeah, yeah there's, you know, we are going to have maybe more than billions of people uh, wearing billions of masks. Uh, and so I'm really interested in seeing how can we have these types of devices? Because this is just one of the first things, right? There's going to be others that are going to do similar things like this. How can we make sure that these devices, these intelligent computers that we're attaching to our face on billions of things are going to be uh, low burden, uh, aren't going to impact you know, the environment in a bad way, uh, aren't going to add more e-waste to the environment? So can we do these very low burden, non-invasive devices that can give us useful signals without batteries uh, that lasts forever. I don't want to plug my face mask uh, into the wall every four hours. So how right. do we solve that problem? Okay. And I think that's a very interesting future. And, and what else do you think you see it measuring? I think these signals are, you know, your heart rate and your respiration rate are in so many different types of um, physical, you know, conditions, uh, emotion, state, fatigue, um, uh, all kinds of different things that build on top of these. So it's really kind of a, a universal potentially platform for understanding your health and well-being. Okay, so what happens next? You know, everybody's watching this going, this is really cool. Am I going to be able to get my hands on one of these or is it going to be more for healthcare workers? What's the next step? Right now we've released the entire project uh, online, open source, uh, open hardware. People can, uh, researchers like us can build it. Uh, right now, unless you have um, some fairly good uh, computer engineering skills, it would be hard for the average person to build. But we really are hoping to ha have this commercialized um, eventually uh, and to be widely, broadly available for folks. But right now, it's just for the research community to explore. Very cool. Look forward to when that happens. Come back and visit me, Josiah Hester from Northwestern's McCormick School of Engineering. Appreciate your time. Really Thank interesting so to see. I love how creative this is.